Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. I'm coming to you in the wake of the Palestinian attempt to gain statehood in the United Nations. To this point, it's been a failed attempt. We'll just wait to see what the results are on that. <clears throat> but it's certainly indicative of the transformation that's taking place in the Middle East with the Arab Spring and not knowing what the results of that are going to be. Uh, Anti-Semitism on the rise, reaching pre-World War II levels in, the, in Europe. Uh, Anti-Israel, anti-Zionist uh, activity, which is really a veil for anti-Semitism here in, in secular academia. It's uh, certainly indicative of, of not only the times that we live in, but I would believe, uh, and with many others, that we are indeed in the end times. There is a subject, however, there is an issue that will gain prominence during those end times that we do not see as yet, but it will come. And that has to do with the elevation and exaltation of the name of our God. Our God has a name. It's not Allah. The name of our God is Yahweh. Yahweh. <clears throat> God told Moses in uh, Exodus chapter 3 and verse uh, 15, he says, You say to the sons of Israel, the children of Israel, you say to them that Yahweh is my name forever. It'll be my name from generation to generation. It will be exalted among the nations. Universally it will be recognized. As a matter of fact, uh, Malachi says in Malachi chapter 1 verse 11, My name shall be great among the Gentiles. Uh, from the rising of the sun to where it sets, every, in every place incense and pure offerings will be offered in my name because my name will be great among the nations, says Yahweh Almighty. Now, <clears throat> it's not great. It's not universally known. The Jews, the Jews uh, do not speak that name out of a sense of reverence. They don't want to be guilty of breaking the commandment of using the name of the Lord their God in vain. But the, that commandment says don't misuse the name, not that we shouldn't use it. Matter of fact, we should use it. There is power in that name. And it will be universally acclaimed. Exaltation and praise will be given to the name of Yahweh. Uh, Isaiah uh, says the same thing in Isaiah 59, verse 19. From the west, the people will fear the name of Yahweh. And from the rising of the sun, they will revere his glory. Now, who is it that's going to bring the name of Yahweh into prominence. I believe the scriptures indicate it will be the non-Jewish believers, the people of God that are not Jews. There will be some Jews, but uh, Paul says in Romans chapter 10, verse 19, he's quoting a passage from Deuteronomy 32. He says, I will, pro that is God, I will provoke you to jealousy by those who are not a people. I will move you to anger by a foolish nation, by a foolish goy, by foolish Gentiles. <clears throat> what would promote jealousy, even anger, on the part of our Jewish brothers more than seeing non-Jews use the name of their God? But I think that's a mission. I think that's a task that God has for the non-Jews who are followers of the God of Israel, believers in Jesus. As a matter of fact, Jesus said this, in uh, Matthew chapter 23 and verse 39, he says, You'll not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahweh. That's a quote from Psalm 118. And so there is a remnant of Israel, a remnant among the Jews, who will one day cry out, Baruch haba b'shem Yahweh. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahweh. Jesus will come, return, at the exaltation of the name of Yahweh. But for us today, there is great blessing, and we need to recognize this. And that's guaranteed to us, I would tell you, guaranteed to us from Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. <clears throat> God tells Moses, he said, You tell Aaron, this is the way you're to bless my people. You say to them, and you recognize this, the Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Well, the word for Lord 
is really the translation, the English translation of Yahweh. Yahweh bless you. Yahweh keep you. That's what he's saying. As a matter of fact, he says, so they shall put my name on my children, and I will bless them. So today, we are to place the name of Yahweh on our dear ones, on those who are precious to us, on our loved ones. And so I say to you in closing, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yahweh turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Bashem Yeshua Meshikano, in the name of Jesus, our Messiah. Od Yavoshilo, or until Messiah comes, Shalom Aleichem.